Hey everybody, it's Michelle from Boon Babe, and today I'm going to be doing a little quick guide on how to fight Skatizo. So, first to fight Skatizo, you need to be able to have the entire dark totem together, and you will be able to receive totem pieces as drops in the Corinne Underground Dungeon. If you don't know where that is, it's right under here. Oh, it's the Catacombs of Corinne, my bad. And down here, you could just do a bunch of, like, Slayer monsters. It's where I go every time I get one of these monsters as a Slayer task, just because I like to get the totem pieces as drops. So, in my inventory, you see I have a Divine Super Combat Potion, one Stamina Potion, True Prayers, I have some Teleports to get me back home into Varrock, and then the rest is just all Manta Ray and the Totem. For my gear, I have the Needs Not Face Guard, the Quest Point Cape, hopefully I'll be getting the Fire Cape soon, the Amulet of Torture, Raid is Blessing, Blessing 3, Dragon Defender, Bandos, Primadorial Boots, Berserker Ring Imbued, Barrow's Gloves, and you have to bring Arclight. Like, it's technically possible to do without Arclight, but the only time I tried, I had to just teleport out because there's these little monsters that I will show you once I get there that you could one-shot with these, but if you don't have it, you have to like completely kill them and it's just, to me, it's even impossible. So, to get to Skatizo, I'm going to go for my house and just use the Zarek teleport to get over to the heart of Zarek. And if you don't want to use this, you could, or if you don't have it in your house, rather, you could just use the necklace itself and do the heart of Zarek. Or you can use the Corinne teleport, just any way you can get to Corinne and click on the statue. And I'm also going to set up my quick prayers right now, so I'm going to protect from magic i believe so protect from magic while you're far away but once you run up to skatizo then you're going to switch to protect from melee so i'm gonna have preserve on and i'm also gonna have piety on okay and then i'm going to take my potion and take my stamina as well and i'm going to use the dark totem base on here and let's go so turn on my prayer, and as I get closer, switch to melee. So one not so great thing about Skatizo is that he can hit pretty hard. So bring a lot of high healing foods for sure. So you could see right here, that is one thing that's like spawned that heals his health. I'm going to go ahead and wait till there's two of them to go and fight them. Which should really be any second. Yep, now there's two. Okay, so run away. Turn on your protect from prayer. Turn off piety. And that's the one that you're able to one hit. So if you don't have arc light, you're going to have to stand there and fight him. And it's probably possible, but I don't know why you would. <laughs> And just be careful to stay on the outskirts so that way he's not hitting you as you get closer to him. And you can see now, now why you do need the stamina potions here. Super necessary. Okay, there's two of them. And also, these little dudes are going to come and attack you with melee as you run around. I totally forgot about them. Just don't even waste your time killing them. They may respawn. I don't remember, to be honest. Oh, wow. I don't even think I killed that one up there. I think I just got next to it and ran away. But these don't hit too hard. And as long as you have food and stuff and you're running around, they probably won't hit you very much at all. Especially as you do get back up next to him and you turn on your protect from melee. They're not really a concern. You can also bring a dragon warhammer, I believe, as a suggested special attack weapon, but I'm lazy and I never bring special attack weapons. 
so that's totally up to you. It's just a personal preference of mine to keep more food. I don't bring it. And again, there's two of these, so I want to go and attack them before they heal Scotizo for too much health. I would also like to say that this guide is just based on my own experience and from what I read on Wikipedia, like the first time I ever did it. May not be the most efficient way to do it, but it's the way that I like to do it without having to try like too, too much, you know? So I've now killed eight of him. I got the onyx bolt tips and you always get an ancient shard whenever you kill him. And if you're lucky, you get totem pieces, but I am not lucky yet. So 335 GP worth of drops. Sorry, 335,000 GP worth of drops right here. Super sick. And I also got a clue scroll. So as you can see, Skatizo isn't very hard. It's just that you have to bring like a decent amount of stuff with you. But it's pretty easy, only takes a couple of minutes. Definitely would recommend trying to get the totem pieces in Karend because he has like a really good pet drop. I believe it's one out of like 65. I was really hoping I'd be like, wow, what if I got the pet like while making this video? But no such luck. But it is like the lowest pet drop, I believe, out of all the boss pets. So. Super recommend if you're looking to get a pet and just in general, like you make a lot of gold. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any better ideas on how to do Scatizo, make sure to leave recommendations in the comments below. If you have any, if you have any constructive criticism on what I could have done better, make sure to let us know. Check out me and Rob's podcast, which is also called Boon Bape. You can listen to it on Spotify or on our YouTube channel. And make sure to like and subscribe so you can see all of our other RuneScape and video game videos. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Goodbye.